Okay, so one of my favorite things to shoot is models with cars. The amount of versatile shots you can get is endless. And I've always been a bit of a motorhead, but I also love shooting portraits. So for me, this is just a party at itself to photograph. And in today's video, I'm going to bring you along to a photo shoot sharing all my ins and outs and all the different shots you can get. Get ready, get comfortable, let's dive into it. So the car we're going to be shooting is the Nissan 300ZX and I've shot this car in the past, it just photographs beautifully and the model we're going to be using is Patu and she is actually one of the first models I've ever photographed so we've come full circle. For the location I picked a wide open space so I can create some nice depth of field in my photos and this was still back in the Netherlands in my little picturesque town so it was a home run for me. Okay first things first let's talk about the gear. So I'm going to be shooting with my Canon R6 and the lens I'm going to be using are all from Sigma, so I'm going to be using the 85mm f1.4, the 50mm f1.4 and the 28mm f1.4 and this way we have a nice and diverse range of vocal lengths. What I like so much because the car is black, I can really create a different focus point. So the focus immediately gets drawn to Patu. And since we were shooting around golden hour, we had a nice golden glow already going on. So I didn't need any external lighting. So we're only gonna be using daylight. If you're already into shooting cars, then what I'm about to say next doesn't come to a surprise for you, but I always use a polarizing filter and this way I can control the reflections that I have in the car. And for example, this photo, that's where I use the polarizing filter because if I didn't have the filter, then we wouldn't be able to see Patu through the window. This is definitely the cherry on top for your photos. And it actually gets rid of like maybe a little bit of oily skin or a shiny skin. I can control that as well. And uh, before I forget, all the photos you're seeing in this video are edited with my Lightroom presets and you can download them in the description. My pack comes with 25 presets, a bunch of editing tutorials and some other goodies in there as well. So these are literally the presets I use for every single one of my photo shoots. So yeah, you can find the link in the description. Back to the video. And this is a note from me to you, myself that I need to fix my back when I'm shooting. Because I look like a gremlin. Uh, maybe this is a note to you as well, but just don't take me as an example. stuck with what shot to get next I always just think for myself I want to make a 360 around the car so have I shot the front already have I shot the back have I shot interior did I even use the steering wheel and that way I know that I've shot every single shot possible so if you're feeling stuck just think of that and then get back to shooting so I also wanted to get some photos when it's a bit darker but we had to kill some time and there's only one thing you could do then and it is McDonald's tip from me to you this is how you keep your model happy <laughs> okay, while we're having a snack, I'll tell you quickly about how I find my cars for photo shoots. Most of the time I find them on car events, uh, people have their Instagram handle on their window, so it's very easy for me to save their Instagram and that's how I always find my cars.
something that has changed the dynamic between me and the model immensely is showing the photos to the model so that way she knows how she's looking in a photo there's more synergy between you and the model and the shots can only get better and i've actually shared plenty more tips like this one in my previous video and when i said we're shooting a car from every angle then i mean every angle because i also brought my drone so let's get a couple shots from above And that is it. So something I loved about this photo shoot is I really switched between different vocal lengths. So more zoomed in, but also very wide. And if you have a 24 to 70, for example, or maybe a 35 and an 85, just switch between the two and you'll get such a nice range of different photos. I feel like when you're photographing a car and a model, you can really set a scene, like almost as if it's a little story. And to give the photos a nice crispy touch, I jumped into Lightroom Classic and boosted up the sharpness and a little bit of texture. And I took out a bit of the clarity, a little bit of a grain. It just gives that nice crispy look to the photos. So please let me know if you have any further questions and i really hope you enjoyed watching this video and i also hope to see you at my next one okay bye bye Doei.